So here in uh, Kalispell, Montana, just trying to get the uh, finishing touches on my house before uh, taking off for the winter. I was like looking at places to stay and I was like really only had like two, three months before I was going to take off for the majority of the winter. It's so, like renting a house seemed like a really bad idea. Yeah, it's definitely a different plan than the last few years and it all kind of sparked out of, you know, budgetary sort of necessity and then it's just kind of evolved into a, sort of a passion project and idea to show that you can travel and do what you love for a minimal financial expense and minimal environmental impact as well. This here at the trailhead, I think it's like 6 a.m. I'm gonna go play up in the wilderness area here. I'm trying to, you know, balance my time between finishing my house and truck and stuff and getting out in the mountains. So that's been a struggle finding that balance there, but we're in the mountains today, so I'll leave all that behind me. I saw these huge log piles and thought maybe we could do some snowboarding and he was not only down to let us snowboard here, he's out there right now with this front end loader building the features for us. Cool spot, cool everything, freaking really just everybody just made an incredible movement in the season happened just like just right here that one looks good cool good job me too thanks guys that was fun yeah boys oh well, yeah i would have been hyped to be two three months ahead of where i was for sure i didn't end up hitting the road till like march 12th i think and then just kind of, it was warm everywhere, so we just decided to come straight up to Alaska. We're here at my house in uh, beautiful Haines, Alaska. I mean, it's pretty funny that I live in this thing. I don't really pay rent. I don't have a utility bill. I mean, heli skiing is my number one expense by like 10 times or something. I mean, it's less about the video part and stuff. I mean, I, I love filming video parts, but it's more just the experience out there. It's just so surreal. And you can say, drop me off there and just ride down this really mellow, you know, little chute or something. Or you say, drop me off over there. And you can like pick your way down some crazy Dr. Seuss, like Alice in Wonderland type landscape or something. You know, when you're riding the lines, you're not, you're definitely not scared. You're not scared when you're snowboarding. Um, you're like so involved in what's happening. There's like, fear isn't really in your head. I think that's part of the whole thing, like how it all ties in with snowboarding and the whole adventure. It's just like going out there, sort of pushing yourself a little as far as, you know, that voice in your head that's like, I don't know, like, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? You're crazy, why are you doing this? and just like coaching him and telling him it's it's okay you know i'm, I'm not gonna forget about you but just uh we got this you know 